it's always special when you get to spend time in the outdoors with that person that introduced you to hunting or fishing. For me, that was my dad, and thankfully we get to spend a lot of time outside together, working on the farm or even hunting together. It's just something that I'm really honored and appreciative to be able to take part in. Well, for me, it's always been my dad, too, that taught me about the outdoors and about hunting. And now to be able to take him on some hunts is very rewarding for me. The one hunt that we go on every year is the Buck Days hunt in Blakely, Georgia. It's a fundraiser for Southwest Georgia Academy. The funds that these guys raise is for that academy. It goes toward education and, and helping the kids in that community, which there is no greater cause, I don't believe, that we can ever partner with in a community is working with the children and helping provide a better educational environment for them. When we first got there, we put up some covert cameras trying to get some pictures or video of some cruising bucks. Sure enough, first night, got a buck with some tall brow tines, not 300 yards from where we had the ghost blind set up. This spot's been historically a good place to be, especially this time of the year. Kevin took a great buck last year. Now it's G's turn to see if he can get one. The very first hunt that dad sat in the ghost blind, they spotted the buck they were after, but he was cruising looking for does and he made it across the food plot before they could get the camera or that hawk scope on him. But that did it. Dad's locked in. He's camping out at this ghost blind for the rest of the trip. You got him. Okay. You hit him. You hit him. You hit him. We rattled that sucker in. All you... right. Golly, we rattled Man. him in, buddy. He's That's a good, a good one. Rag. I didn't even have time to get nervous until after he <laughs> shot. I didn't either. I mean, it's like when you said he's a shooter, I went shooting. I ain't even, like I said, I ain't even saw for once until he started running. It's 20 minutes after 8. But I made it now. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten there now. You can't be shaking no more than I'm shaking. <laughs> Look, Kevin's already blowing me up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all the only people I know that will shoot a deer and then get out of the blind even though there may still be trophy deer running around here. Well, we didn't really think about Congratulations. that Congratulations. It was kind of like a... <sighs> they got a perfectly good ghost blind right there. They could be doing the same thing in. <laughs> and instead, they sit over here in the wide open. How many deer y'all run off since you killed one? Another one. That's oh. the only deer on this property. We've seen one. And that's the only one we needed. <laughs> <laughs> one volunteer, and he stepped up to the plate. Right there, right here. Right there. Oh yeah, I think you made a real good hit on him. <laughs> I see antlers sticking up with on there. Congratulations. There he is. That's an easy recovery whenever you can see antlers kind of sticking up like that. Man, he is pouring blood through here. He was eating it up right here. Great, Dave. Holy brow times, Batman. <laughs> Great, D. You reckon you're gonna wanna put that one on the wall? I expect so. <laughs> How many points he got? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little kicker over there might make eight. Huh? Might. Great day at the brow tines. Some long ones, ain't huh? We're over here at the Buck Days event outside of Damascus, Georgia. And uh, the ironic thing about this deer and that ghost blind set up back there on the Big Antler King food plot is that's the exact same spot that I shot one last year. Yep. We've been over here for a couple days and been seeing some deer, but the big thing is the last several years, I've been bringing my dad and we've been having a big time, but that hasn't been knocking down any bucks. Shot some does and put some meat in the freezer, but there's what you've been waiting for, ain't it? That's been it right there. That was worth the wait. I can't believe in brow well, times. Like a, right here, there's like a little hole under there. Oh. See it? Yep. Man, that's cool. I'm about to put the tape on him. You think that'll be your biggest one ever? Right there, pretty close. He's pretty close. He's Man, that's a good deal. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Finally. Finally. You finally. come up here and knock you down a buck. A good one, too. Look at the body on him. Big old mature deer, and you shot him right where you needed to. The old hawk did the job for you, didn't it? it? Did. We needed one volunteer. It took a, a while to find one, but he popped out there. So well, it's me. I'm him. Truth of the matter, I, I think really he wanted you to shoot him yesterday, and you and Justin was over sleeping in the ghost plane. But I mean, you know, that's just the story I heard. I don't know where you'd hear that story. I know <laughs> I wouldn't tell it, nor would Justin. <laughs> it just doesn't get much better than that. To be able to take my dad, the man who got me started in the outdoors, on an awesome hunt like Buck Days, and then for him to also shoot one of his biggest deer ever, that's priceless.